everything old is new again. Our designer, Kimberly Selden, is here now to say the vintage look is very definitely yes. Yes. It is all vintage. Back again. It just yes. goes to show. I mean, anything that happened, just hang on to it. Hang on to it. It might come back in style. Yeah, and I'm vintage, so, you know, <laughs> there's that. Aging like a fine wine, exactly, I might add. Exactly, exactly. It's really fun now because there's a certain permission to enjoy whatever makes you happy. Yes. And that's really what we're seeing, is particularly the younger generation is saying, you know what, that may be in style, but that's not my vibe, yeah. so I'm going to find my vibe. And this beautiful set is a great illustration of that. It starts with a carpet that's got its traditional style, mm -hmm. but it's done in more contemporary colors. It's a beautiful green color, so I went with a, a dusty kind of rose on the wall, which is Monticello oh, pink. Good. And if you were Delta Zeta in 1984, like I was, <laughs> your whole life was pink and green, so this combination right. feels really good. Yes. Um, it feels and, fresh. It feels fresh. And of course, the whole set has a bit of a feminine feel yes. to it. So we've got this curvy day bed, which is a wonderful piece, by the way, that if you're living in an open concept space, it can really create zones. You can move it around for parties. Mm -hmm. And here we have it kind of in a kitchen, a kitchen setting um, where we've got these layered bistro tables, the, the taller one in the white marble, the darker one in a black granite. And then the one on the bottom is, is an antique, an actual antique from France. It's a wine tasting table. Oh. And it would have sat in the vineyard while they were picking grapes. They might have sat down on the grass wow. and, and done, I could be good at that job. I, I could do that. <laughs> I, would, I think that's could what I could that. have done with my life yes. if I have made something of myself. <laughs> um, we're also seeing people developing more of an appreciation for what really is antique or what really is uh, vintage. So for example, the copper um, candlesticks are old and they are period, but the match striker sitting beside them yep. is a reproduction. Okay. And I thought this was really fun because, yeah. uh, you know, 200 years ago, the uh, whatever the company was selling absinthe would have made this as an advertisement for the bar, yes. and they would have given them to the bar owners so people could come in and oh. smoke at the bar. Yes. Right. So fun. Those days are so over. Those but days. I like over. that you said so you can go real vintage antique or you can go faux right. vintage antique. But the bottom line is people want that aged look in their home. That's right. And so you might be thinking, gosh, you know, I remember grandma had a piece of furniture and I love that. What happened to it? Yes. You might discover it's been put away in the basement or tucked away in the attic or it's at your Aunt Agnes's house. Uh -huh. it, maybe with a, a fresh upholstery, uh, you know, like the day bed, it gets a whole new look and some bright, fresh pillows. Um, I love this one, which looks to me, somebody said it was chinoise. I'm like, that's not chinoise. That looks like Santa Barbara mission, yes. Spanish mission style with the palm trees and everything. So that feels like home to me. Artwork is fun too, and it's a great way to add personality to a space. These images of doorways are very soft and architectural. Yeah. The doors, the actual doors that you see leaning here came from Egypt, and that's the original Ooh. paint. I know, can you imagine me on the plane with that? Like, no, these will fit, they'll fit. <laughs> I'm, it's okay, just I know what I'm doing. In the overhead, it's in the overhead fine. is gonna be fine. I, I just, I love them, they're so, so beautiful. They are gorgeous. So all of these nods, I mean, we're even seeing, you mentioned the artwork that is sort of coming back around because I think for, for a while we were doing sort of super duper contemporary. Here you have this nod uh, to this architectural art uh, that, you know, is sort of back in style. So everything old is a little bit new. We've got some pictures yeah. to show some of the little um, hints and the touches that you might be seeing more and more in decor, which I find really interesting. Yeah. Starting um, with this lovely space here, so you've got a living room, but look at the detail on the arm of the sofa. Right, so you're seeing again that contrasting piping showing up in details on things like sofas, mm -hmm. uh, which is a project we did sometime like 1990, which yes. is like, you know, prehistoric days, <laughs> 1990, but it's coming back again. So, yes. So rest assured. Um, also, like, would you say anything about the uh, the valance and the curtain. Like, oh, the drapery. The, the drapery. the drapery hardware. You know, that <laughs> kind of hardware is still appropriate if you have a really big manse. 
Yes. You know, you really have a classical style. You, you want to live the Dallas lifestyle. That completely works in a lot of southern states. Yes. Uh, Atlanta, New Orleans, you definitely can see that. But for most people who are living in smaller places, that's just a bit too much hardware. Absolutely. On the draperies. Okay, take a look at this space, and you will see sort of it's reminiscent of the space that we're in uh, live in studio right now. So this is a great example of a project we did early 90s again. The home is classical, so very traditional. Mm -hmm. and. Um, um, the clients wanted to redo everything because that felt like a, it was like a little bit out of style and yes. here it is right back again. So I'm like, stop, don't read, no, <laughs> no, leave it, we're good, it's, it's happy, we're happy. How about the detail we see in this space? So this is a bathroom mm -hmm. uh, with a rug mm -hmm. uh, and, and some nice detail around the bathtub. Well, it's so funny, people will say you, you can't really put a nice rug in a, in a bathroom, but the mm -hmm. truth is you absolutely can. You can step on it, you can get water on it, it works beautifully and that exact look is something that clients are asking us for today now. even though that is you know 30 years old now yeah and the last thing I want to show you these books I just thought were so fun they are hand painted by an those. artist and what does it say you will be too much for some people those aren't your people that's right they're not your people those aren't your people you just that's move right. away from them yeah um, I love everything you've said we'll always bring you the trends but obviously do what makes yeah. sense in your world Kimberly uh, you picked up this gorgeous furniture and accessories from Homesmith Interiors, so thank you so much for that.